I'm anxious, I'm nervous. I've seen worse welding from people who've been welding for years. I kept the pool up and in better. Oh my god. That is horrible. It's not that bad! That is ugly. Hey, what is up everyone? It's Biker Babe Beth here, and I am outside the Home Depot, and I am finally buying something I have been wanting to buy for years. I've been talking about it to my friends, and I can finally afford one, and this Home Depot has it available. Not very many had them available. I had to like call quite a few, have them look and see. But this one has it available and it's waiting at the service desk for me. So let's go see what Biker Babe Beth is gonna get her little hands on to this time. It's really exciting, I'm super excited. Make the Home Depot noises. The cat's out the bag. But I got a welder and some steel and some other goodies. We're gonna take it home. First, I gotta clean my garage, but we're gonna take it home and we're gonna learn how to weld. I don't know, we're gonna try. Oh, we also stopped for food. Hey, what's up guys? We are now in the garage. I have my welder unboxed and set to the side. I have my auto darkening Lincoln welder helmet. And then I also grabbed some flat bar steel. It is uh, 3 16 of an inch to practice on. But first, I gotta cut it up into a few pieces. It's, uh, it's 36 inches long, that's a little too long. We wanna cut up some pieces so we can do some 90 degrees. But first, I'm just gonna attempt to learn how to set up the welder. But first and foremost, I get to peel off some things. Oh, that's such a good feeling. <laughs> Love peeling stuff. And then also, very important feature. I'll put more stickers on it as, uh, you know, time goes on. But first and foremost, they're always hard to peel. Boom, this is officially my welder helmet. And I am super excited to start welding. Let's go. I think it's fit to Jeff's head right now, so I need to adjust it. But I want to be able to do the flippy thing, you know? Like all the cool welders do. All right, let's set up the welder. Set up this Harbor Freight little cheap table. Quickly needed something to weld on. So this is like the cheapest table that we could find. It's like 89 bucks on Harbor Freight. Grabbed it on the way home and my loving, beautiful assistant, my husband, Jeffrey, set it up for me. So now that we have this set up, my helmet is ready to rock and roll. Let's set up the new, beautiful Lincoln welder that I got. I'm so excited. Another really important thing I wanted to say about this whole entire video, I have no experience welding, putting together a welder, anything having to do with welding. So first and foremost, safety is extremely important to me. And I'm gonna take my time setting up this welder, follow the YouTubes that I have seen, the YouTube videos. YouTube University will save your life if you need to learn something. Lincoln Electric Welders has a lot of good YouTube information. Their marketing manager even shows you how to set it up online, the specific LE31MP, so you can set it up correctly as well. And uh, I'm gonna follow that step by step and make sure that we set up this beautiful new welder correctly so I don't die, yeah. Safety first, kids. And also, don't give me a hard time if you see me doing something wrong along the way. I do have supervision, my husband, so. We're gonna get that rolling, let's get it put together. And um, I am not going to be using any gas. I'm super excited about this welder because it is a multi-process. We can do TIG, we can do MIG, but we are gonna start with flux core because no gas is needed, self-fed, let's go. I had to learn a lot about welding just to be able to even talk to you guys about this stuff. A lot of lingo. Okay. Now to the fun part of setting up the actual welder. They make it pretty dummy proof. I would say pretty dummy proof because I'm an extreme dummy and I could mess this up without supervision. But with the inside procedures and settings that they have, I can figure out exactly, depending on what type of welding I'm doing, whether I'm doing MIG, uh, Super Arc MIG, Aluminum MIG, or if I'm doing Flux Core or TIG, it will give you the directions that you need to put your DC currents and also give you the settings, depending on the thickness of steel that you have, the settings that you're gonna wanna put your auto feed speeds to or your voltage to. So first and foremost, this 
is what comes on the spool. Um, I'm not using TIG or MIG at this moment. I'm doing the flux core and I don't need a giant spool. I'm gonna be using one of the smaller spools that they gave me. So first and foremost, I just removed that larger spool feed. Second, I wanna make sure that I'm using my flux core wire, not my super arc, because that is for uh, MIG and I'm not doing MIG today. So pick my wire. Another thing to keep in mind is that this is all locked up before you start. So before you put everything on, you're gonna wanna make sure, open that up. And then now I can load this wire on and through. And that's the very first step is loading your wire. It is pouring here. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I love summer thunderstorms. So what perfect weather to learn how to weld in a summer thunderstorm. Okay, let me double check. I'm following the processes right via YouTube University and the Lincoln Electric's YouTube channel. And I'm going to start loading this up after that. So one really important aspect when you are loading your wire on is that you're making sure it's going the correct direction. It's gonna be going clockwise. So go ahead and load that up. So the biggest thing that I'm worried about while loading this is the wire unspooling itself. So once you take it out of where it's being held and start to load it, you have to make sure you keep it tight the entire time as you're loading it. And then once you lock it down here, go ahead and loosen that. Once you lock it down here and flip this back over, then you can let go. Make sure you don't unravel your wire. So Another important part, I'm gonna slowly, step by step, load it in. Watch my YouTube university because I don't wanna mess it up. This is a very important part because if you don't load your wire feed correctly, you could have messed up processes because the wire isn't coming out at a constant speed or properly, and then your weld isn't gonna look as good. So I want, I want to start at a good place with my welds, with the wire being fed right. So let's start there. Okay, now that I have the wire installed, I'm gonna go ahead and get my lead connected, which feeds the wire out and where your welding point comes from. And you know, if I say things that seem extremely new to this, um, I am. I'm such a beginner that I genuinely am so excited to start welding. I can't explain to you guys how long I've wanted to do this for, and it's finally happening. Huge thanks and shout out to all my Patreon subscribers for making this happen. Without you guys, I don't think I would have ever became Welder Babe Beth. So I'm super stoked about it. Let's attach the lead and make sure we attach it to the correct end because the welding machine itself on this situation here where we have no gas, DC goes into negative. So that means that the machine is gonna go into the negative, this is gonna go into the positive, pretty sure. This is welding for dummies and I am a dummy. So hopefully that's correct. All right, let's attach the lead and then move on to actually loading the wire after we have the lead attached because, um, because you know, the wire can't do anything if we don't have anything to feed it into. So let's attach that. Let's do it. I'm so excited. I'm like a kid starting their first crack addiction. All right, let's go ahead and get these plugged in. I'll turn the water towards you guys so you can see what I'm up to. Okay, this end going in here. I made sure I loosened this nut back here so it will go in properly. You don't want to force anything. If anything's feeling forced, there's probably something needing loosened. So, needs unthreaded a lot more. <laughs> hey, uh, supervision. Mm -hmm. I'm checking if this is all the way in fast. Supervision says it's in all the way. That sounds naughty. So after you plug in the feed line, you can connect what gives the power to that. And I've been told not to force this one because it's got two little prongs that have to line up properly. And if you don't, you could break them or bend them. So just be extra careful on this part. It's on there. We good? Next step, now that we have this connected, is connecting the positives and negatives the proper way. So let's figure that out. I'm gonna go ahead and connect my uh, ground lead to the positive and then the machine to the negative. Negative in, let's keep going. I'm so like step-by-step, step, perfect little angel. Wanna treat my new beautiful machine properly. So bear with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up my 
ground lead, but I'm not gonna plug it in yet. I'm only going to plug it in after. I have set up the wire and have my welding helmet on and I'm ready to start welding. That's important, kids. I'm gonna go ahead and set up my ground clamp, putting the end up through, and then screwing it on to the end here. I'm so excited to like hot glue metal together. Think of all the crafts I can do now. Build a chopper, finally. Set this off to the side. <laughs> Not ready for it yet. All right, moving on to basically the step that makes me the most nervous is loading the wire just because I don't want it to unwind or unthread on me and that would be terrible. So we'll take our time, slowly push it through, work it through. I got a new pair of, where did I set them? Cutty Kajiggers. So go ahead and start that process. Oh God. Okay, got it cut. Make sure that you don't have any sharp bends or weirdness. Clip the ends before you start to load. Load it into that little spring right there. And then we also need to get it into that little guy. Nice and easy does it, take your time. Don't force anything. And then once everything's lined up, oops, once you have everything lined up, you can go ahead and pull this down, lift this up. Now that tensioner is gonna hold this. Hey, I did it. Not so bad. The next step is making sure that the setting of the tensioner right here, this is tightened back on, and then this is set to one to three because we're doing flux core. So right now it is a little above the three, so I'm gonna go ahead and set the two. I mean, we could leave it there for now. A lot of people change it to three right away. Let's just leave it between one and three at two and see how that works. The next step is feeding the wire out, so. People would set this up in like 10, 15 minutes if they're an average welder, but I'm going to go step by step and look and make sure I'm doing everything properly as I go along. So make fun of me if you want to, I don't care. Now we're on to the step where I plug it in and feed the wire out. We may run into some electrical issues. We'll see. Hopefully we don't blow the whole house circuit or something crazy. It would just be this circuit over here. Cause we have the overhead lights for our garage plugged into the same plug. So hopefully, okay. Turning it on. Okay, I was like, it's supposed to make a noise and everything just fluctuated in the household. Everything should be fine. When I press this button, <laughs> I'm looking at my beautiful assistant off camera like I'm scared. So I press the button till I get a few inches out. And a lot of people leave this open to watch to make sure everything's feeding properly, so. Something is very wrong. It is not moving. How tight is the spring? Okay, that's a very important thing. This can be over tightened. I over tightened it. It's not half gravel. Redo. I thought I did it well enough, but yeah. It just wasn't pushed in far enough. That's what she said. Okay. Might need to go a little tighter. This? Yes. Okay, attempt number two. There it is. Ha! Okay, I did it right. Happy dance. All right. I can go ahead and put this back over top because this is 0.035 to 0.9 millimeter, so it will be okay. Okay, screwed my tip back on. And I guess this is for, this end is not for flux core, it's for MIG and gas welding, so keep that off to the side. Holy crap, I'm getting closer to the point of actually learning how to weld, like the welder. <laughs> my lovely assistant just looked at his watch. Like, do I have to supervise every single step? I'm like, yes, I don't want to catch my hair on fire or my my life or the whole entire garage. Make sure it still feeds with the tip on. Still feeds with the tip on. Okay. Okay, I went ahead and turned my machine off. Now that I have the flux core metal wire fed, before I do anything else, now that the machine is off, I'm going to go ahead and connect the ground lead, get that set up, and then I can cut up some pieces of metal and start practicing some welds. 
Practice. Practice. These aren't gonna be perfect welds, they're gonna be practice welds. Connecting my ground lead, okay. Got both those connected, ground lead, connect to my welding table. Turn to the right settings, make sure it's on wire, make sure it is on, I looked at my guide on the side, for 3 16 of an inch steel is what I have. I need to be at settings H and 6, and that's just a starting point or a reference point for the thickness of your steel. After that, you got a lot of splatter or not enough. Okay, I'm really anxious, I'm really nervous. When I try something for the first time, what happens? Make sure that once you're at this point, the welder is not on yet, but when it, once it is on, now I have the ability to start welding. So make sure that you have your welding helmet on, all your gear on, and you're ready to rock and roll. I'm not turning on this machine until I get suited up with my gear. So I guess just wait for that. I guess that's where we're at now. Now we're ready to get geared up and suited up. I'm ready, I'm excited. geared up with my fire fire retardant materials and I'm gonna start welding any day now right like right now okay let's do it okay everything is turned on h6 is the setting everything's plugged in correctly got my gloves ready I'm extra nervous but no time like the present to learn something new Just one, whew, one solid line. Nothing special. Keep it pointed, keep it spaced, feed it out as I go. Any advice from my professional help, my, my beautiful professional assistant? He shook his head, no. I'm anxious, I'm nervous. All right, beginner welder. Hopefully this is charged enough that it auto darkens. I stood in the sun for a few minutes. This is grounded, right? Should that not be touching that? I don't know why I'm so anxious. Just do it, right? It'll be fun. It'll be fun, just do it! Thank you, beautiful assistant, for making sure everything is safe off camera. Oh, it turns. As soon as this touches the metal, it'll spark, right? Cool! Okay. about any of that going anywhere. Nothing's on fire around. Oh my God, I fed it way too fast. Look at that. Woo, can I have my clippy tool? Okay. worse welding from people who've been welding for years. The settings must be okay because like, if I just, it's my technique, honestly. If I slow my roll, that looks, looks pretty good. Well, I do wanna cut this up and try some 90 degrees, but before I do that, I'm just gonna practice my angle, how fast I go. I would like to try and lay another weld. Would you? Uh, assistant, are you prepared? I have my off-camera assistant also wearing a uh, welding helmet, so he can uh, make sure I don't burn the house down, but also so he can watch. <laughs> Good old fashioned laying, laying lines. I 
accidentally push it, so. Oh god. You think that happened because I was welding for too long? I feel like I'm getting that sunburn shit on my shoulders already. Oh yeah, gloves, gloves, it's still hot as fuck, Beth. Oh my god, I am learning how to lay welds, baby. Oh my god. It's a little boogery, but. Excuse me. Would you like a turn? You want a turn. You want a turn. You do two next to my two. A little healthy competition. I'll, I'll stop the camera. You don't have to be on the camera. We'll just show the welds to prepare. I'm just doing the giant hurt Okay. If you feel safe, that's fine. Uh, can I have the helmet? Yes. I don't even know what tech, like any techniques. Oh, do you want me to tell you a technique? So the one that I saw that I liked the best personally was where you have the tip start here and basically you have it at the front end of the puddle, front end of the pool. Keep it at the front end of the pool and keep moving it, but make sure that you stay always at the front end of it. And that's the technique that I was doing. So I'm gonna pull it a little closer. Yeah, it might be fine. I would keep it at least that far out so you're not, you're, you can keep a nice diagonal, but you're not actually touching. Make sure your tip doesn't ever touch the thing, but you want to keep it. What I, what I had seen most people be doing is like a fourth of an inch, so a little bit more than that. I would feed it up just a tiny bit. It's a bit. fourth of an inch. Okay. Can't feel a fucking thing in these gloves. Oh, I know. Is that the power? I think it's dipping, isn't it? Or no, it's the art of auto dark Yes. Woo! What do you do with a drunken Bethy? Let her go in the garage and weldy. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Okay. All right, YouTubes. It's time to discuss. Are the top two or bottom two welds better? I'm not telling you who's or who's. Spoiler alert. They both suck, but my husband's probably are a little better. That's what they're going to vote for. Do you know which one's yours still? Cause they're the ones that look better. How do they look better? Why do they look better? Let's discuss. Steady hand. You might have been going like this. Yes. Cause you can see like the valleys and ripples in the way that if you're moving up and down, if you keep it even the whole time. I've seen a lot of people have like a a guide hand even as they go along. But heck yeah, we'll keep that as a special memento. <laughs> I'm gonna make a tiny little frame and hang it on the wall like label it. Do you want to cut a few more pieces and start doing some 90s? I think that's a good place to start with. <sighs> we did two lines, move to 90s, just keep going. So we're gonna cut quite a few more squares, do quite a bit more welding, and show you guys some of the products. I actually kind of want to make a small art project, hopefully by the end of this video. No guarantees, but I have something saved on my phone that I really want to make, so. And it's just, uh, 
It's not actually like a big welding project. It's just a tiny little craft, little DIY craft, perfect for the channel. I told all my friends and family I was getting a welder to expect little junk pieces of art coming your way very soon. So, yes. Okay, let's do it. Let's cut up some pieces. Yes. Okay. Time to try some 90s. Gloves on. Fire retardant protection pulled up as far as it can go. I don't want... There's something that a lot of people that are beginners that don't know about. I've done a little bit of research to know that you can get what's similar to a sunburn. It's a UV burn, but it's a sunburn from welding. So if you don't have a jacket and an apron, um, you just have these arm protectors. Make sure these arm protectors are pulled all the way up as much as they can be. I'm probably gonna have a sunburn or a UV burn, as it's technically called, on my shoulders from welding. But, all right, here goes a 90. Welding masks down and on. Six. I wonder if I can just keep going. Probably, right? Trying to turn off some stuff. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> These gloves are too... I need to order a women's pair. Like you even said, you can't feel what the fuck you're doing in them. It's so easy to press the trigger and not be actually ready. Okay, first half is terrible. Second half, less terrible. Still beginning welds. I kept the pool up and in better. Oh my god. That is horrible. It's not that bad. That is ugly. Hey, you do better. You do better than. Oh, here, gloves. I'm not even checking the I mean, it's, it's in there. It's a solid weld, okay? I still welded it. But it's not pretty. I mean,. fucking tripping. Yeah, it's killing the whole house when it shuts off because it shut off the power. Yeah, you stayed in the corner better than I did, that's for damn sure. I'm so proud of us. This is very exciting for us. We've been waiting a very long time to be able to do a Ford, a nice welder, a multi-purpose unit that could get us through a lifetime of work. This is gonna do it and I'm so excited for it and I'm so thankful for my Patreon subscribers because their subscriptions have made it so I can afford a new Lincoln Electric welder. And you know what? Maybe I'll get the attention of Lincoln Electric. I doubt it, but many of the marketing folks from Lincoln Electric happen to catch this video. I would love to work with you guys. There's a reason I chose this welder, but also, um, yeah, all this content is not sponsored by them, even though, you know, big shout out to Lincoln Electric because this welder is great despite the fact that it's tripping my whole entire house electricity that has nothing to do with them that has everything to do with me and the sh 
this shoddy house that I'm renting. But yeah, let's cut some more, weld some more, show some more welds, bang some stuff out. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. Every single day I'll be making moves Till I'm buried in my grave To the system I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You never hear me bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want Anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient It's belief uh, They deceive with the negativity But I just slide right by that Low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go but even that could change You could flip the gray matter Like some batter in your brain That's why they say Fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game Then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst thoughts and Turn them to a game Take the best thoughts and Put them on display On repeat in your brain Till you're feeling no more pain I feel like Like glistening From sweating so much With all of this protective Gear on But do not cheap out on protective gear while welding, folks. Uh, fire retardant material. Always use fire retardant material. I'm serious about that. This apron came in handy too, didn't burn any holes in my pants. But <laughs> the apron is nice. It's wonderful. It's a Harbor Freight purchase. Can't recommend Harbor Freight purchases enough. I have to tie up the neck though, because I have a short torso. But the funny thing is <laughs> how much this suede leather puts Little pieces on me. I don't know if you can see my. I'm literally covered in suede leather dust. Like a little honeybee covered in pollen. Oh my gosh. Let me put on a glove and show you my finished piece of artwork. I am super proud of me and my husband attempting our first welds on the Lincoln Welder today. Absolutely great job to us. Great job, welder. We need to name her. Not so great job, the electric in my house. Um, yeah, we'll have to sort that out at some point. And another point that's kind of gonna be a continued issue is making sure we figure out the electric so we don't keep popping all of the lighting circuits in our house when we are welding with the welder. Just because I don't know if it's still hot. I want to show you guys up close my first project. I saw it online, I thought it was adorable. And I was like, well, I got plenty of spark plugs. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Did have to run to the Home Depot to get a few nuts, but I had the bolts, I had the spark plug, I had the Allen keys. Here it is. <laughs> These gloves are so massive, can barely see. It's a motorcycle! Where's a non-hot spot? What did I weld last? I welded those last, so that would be the hottest. It's all very hot still. Well, my weld arm can hold up to uh, drop it. Means I welded it well enough. I, you can't see the back tire, but there is my first piece of weld art. Is the front tire too hot to hold? Yeah, everything's still too hot to hold. Here, let's see if I can place it in my hand. There we go. <laughs> a little welded motorcycle out of a spark plug. I am so stoked on it. First project. Even has a little crooked headlight. That's so cute. I'm absolutely. I'm absolutely in love with my first welding project. I did it, I welded something. Besides a straight line on a piece of, a straight line on a piece of stock metal or a 90. We're gonna practice more 90s. We're gonna practice more straight lines on metal. But the reason I bought this welder is, and it's ultimate goal, if you're new to the channel, I am going to build a chopper. So I have a, she's sitting right there, a 1974 iron head that I am going to chop and weld its frame into something that kind of looks like this. <laughs> no, it's gonna be a lot prettier than this little piece, this little guy. Right. 
Listen, it stands up on its own. That's a piece of welding art. I am officially a weld artist. You guys can buy my stuff. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't have a website yet for my welding art, but that is a big plan. A plan is to use this welder to chop the 1974 iron head, but also start learning some welding art. Get into another, uh, another hobby. I have millions of hobbies, but let's add another one onto it. Making artwork from welding. I have a lot of scrap metal that I would love to do something with and we're gonna learn how to make a welding table. This is just a short-term welding table for this video for you guys, but we are going to make a full-size welding table. We're gonna make a welding cart, and we are gonna work on our welds while we do these projects to make sure I get really good at solid metal welds before I start tubular welding. A Little bit of a different ball game. But yes, guys, thank you so much for coming along with me and my husband while we learned how to weld us beginners with the Lincoln welder right here. I'm super stoked on this Lincoln welder. It is not a cheap welder, but it is a multi-purpose welder. This unit I think goes for about a grand. And then after you get your helmet and your gloves and your fire retardant gear, it adds up fast. So I cannot thank my Patreon subscribers enough for helping me to be able to afford all of these items from Harbor Freight, Home Depot and the like to be able to start welding on the channel. I'm so stoked that you guys came along with me on my beginner adventure of welding. And I'm so stoked on this little itty bitty piece of art that I was able to make. Oh God, it's so cute. I'll have to take it to my office and put it on my work desk. All right, guys, comment down below if you are a welder, if you've been welding for an extended period of time, and if you have any tips, tricks, or rules of the trade that I totally broke in this video. Help me out, let me know, comment down below. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Make sure, if you are new here, that you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below your tips and tricks for a new to the world of welding, but Oh God, do I want to dive in deep. This is just the very beginning of welding videos on the channel, so I hope that you guys like them. If not, you're just gonna have to get used to it. All right, guys, that's it for me. I made myself a little metal chopper. And we gonna ride on out of here. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>